boom, boom. Hello, YouTube. I am a Doom Space Marine, and today I'm going to do exactly what I talked about doing in the stream. Uh, we are going to do a tutorial on how to get GZ Doom set up and make it so that you can play Doom and Doom mods on your computer easily. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look up, um, I'm going to have these links in the description below, um, and they're going to be easily accessible to you, so you can just click download and go through it. So first you're going to visit the GZ Doom page, and you're going to go to the GZ Doom 4.6.0, and you're going to download either the Windows version or the Ubuntu version, depending on if you're wanting Windows or Linux. Um, so that will get you a zip folder. Uh, you're going to get a zip folder that looks like GZ Doom 4-6-0 Windows 64-bit. Then you're going to go to this next link, which gets you a program called ZDL. It's a front end that allows you to just pretty much plug and play mods. Uh, it t requires a little bit of setup, but I'm going to run you through that as well in this video. Um, and it's really simple um, once you get it set up, and it makes it really, really easy to use mods. For the sake of using mods, I'm going to shamelessly plug my mod into here. Um, I just pushed a new release to my GitHub. Uh, I'm going to uh, gonna, uh, put a link down below to the newest release. And um, this will be the mod that I include with this to kind of get you guys started off and whatnot. So what you're going to end up with when you're all done with it, I also will include a link to 7-Zip uh, in case you need it, but I don't think you'll need it for this process. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to get um, these files here. And first thing you're going to do is you're going to double click the GZ Doom and you're going to drag click and press Control C. You're going to go into one of your drives. Um, some of you will be C drive, others of you it will be whatever drive you store your games on. And you're going to make a new folder. Uh, I used Control Shift N for that shortcut. Um, and you're going to call it, uh, I'm just going to call it GZ Doom, just for simplicity's sake. You're going to press Control V to paste that in there, so you get the files right there. You're going to click back on your downloads folder and quick access, and then you're going to go to ZDL. You're going to do the same process, drag, click, Control C, go back down to your GZ Doom folder, Control V. You're going to go to your uh, downloads folder again. You're going to go to um, current, the Volanian crisis, copy the PK3 file using Control C and Control V in the GZ Doom folder, and you're set. So this comes to the point where I have to put a major disclaimer. I am not going to tell you how to get a hold of Doom.exe illegally. I will tell you the legal means to do so. If you go to Steam and you go to the Steam store, um, you can find Doom 2. You can also find the ultimate Doom, uh, which is Doom 1, and it has um, the four episodes. Um, also, there is one called Final Doom, uh, which is the TNT and Plutonia, uh, which were episodes added later on, um, way later on, level expansion packs. Um, so there's three Dooms for you, uh, technically four, um, that you can use as, um, oh, what's it called, as uh, PWAD files, uh, because you're going to need what's called a WAD file to play it. So what you're going to do then, of course, is you're going to install your Doom games. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to install it in my J slash Steam folder. Uh, they're really, really small, so like they don't take long to install it all, as you can see. Um, it's already installed. So what you're going to do at that point is you're going to go to wherever you installed it. Um, in my case, I installed the Final Doom in um, J slash Steam slash Steam app slash Common slash uh, Final Doom, wherever that is. There it is. And you're going to go to Base, and you're going to go to the file that's called tnt.wad um, in Doom... In the Ultimate Doom, you're going to go into a file called uh, doom.wad. Um, I'm actually going to go and do that really quick in a moment. Let me get back to drive I, GZ Doom, copy that into there. And you'll just do that for all of your WAD files. So um, for the sake of um, 
just a little bit of uniformity here, we're going to go with Doom 2. Um, because the other ones aren't aren't as great. Um, <laughs> the uh, other two that... Uh, where did it go? Steam apps. There we go. Common. And we're going to go to Doom 2. There we go. Base. And you're going to get Doom2.wad, which is your WAD file. And then you're going to go into your drive with GZ Doom. And you're going to copy that into there. So Control C, Control V. So after that's all done, you're going to double click ZDL. I already have it set up. But for the sake of setting this up, I'm going to remove everything from this at once. And I'm going to set this up all for you guys right here, right now. So what you're going to do is this is your source port. So your source port is GZ Doom. So you're going to press the cl um, plus button. You're going to go to um, mass storage and you're going to find, for me, you're going to find the drive you put it on. You're going to find your GZ Doom folder and you're going to double click GZ Doom. That will allow you to run the GZ Doom executable. You're going to go to IWADS. I said PWADS earlier, but I stand corrected. It's IWADS. And you're going to want to find in that folder, so go back to your GZ Doom folder. You're going to want to find your Doom2.wad, your TNT.wad, Doom.wad, and Plutonia.wad if you have all four. Those are the names of the files, just in case you need to know them. And you're set to go. If you, put, if you click Launch at this point, you're literally going to be able to play once this thing launches. There you go. Doom2 is up and running. Bing, bada, boom, you're playing Doom2. Now... This is why this is so useful. If you look at this left side thing here, if you click the plus button, it allows you to pick your mods, which are your PWADs. So if you want to play, say, the Volanian Crisis, you do current, the Volanian Crisis.pk3, and you launch it again. And you wait for it to load, and bingo, you're now running my mod. So it's really straightforward, um, and as you can see, I'm just going to give myself everything here. Oh, I can't. But as you can see, I'm now not playing Doom 2. I'm playing a modded version of Doom 2. Um, so it's pretty sick. And it makes the entry, uh, the entry requirements of it a lot, lot easier uh, to get into. Um, and I think the gameplay just crapped itself, so that sucks. But bottom line is that um, you're playing the game. You're in, you're working, and it just works great. So, um, yeah, that's how you get ZDoom working. That's how you get your files moved and all that. Uh, pretty straightforward. You download the folders, uh, the zip folders. You extract them into the same folder. You find your doom.wad in your Steam directory or whatever you download Doom through. And you plop that in your GZ Doom folder. You run ZDL. You set it up for the locations of where those files are. And then you plop in your mod and you're set. Pretty straightforward. Pretty easy. That's how you do it on Windows. I don't know how you do it on other systems. But we'll get a tutorial going on Linux here. Um, probably in the next couple days. So anyway, I'm a Doom Space Marine. I hope this tutorial was informative and hopefully this gets some uh, people into the Doom ecosystem. Uh, there's a lot of mods. There's a lot of community. Um, there's a lot of stuff out in the wild there. This, this game is one of the most mod supported games in the world. Um, there's more mods for Doom than I could even imagine telling you about. Um, so yeah, get out there, rip and tear. This is Doom Space Marine. I'm out.